I'm an NRA certified firearms instructor and I realized I was exposing kids to a potential accident inside the home. And so that's when I started researching programs. I looked at a couple other programs, but you know, being from Eugene, I was, I was concerned about you know, the way they'd be received. And so I started developing my own. And so about two years of hard development, we've been a nonprofit for just over three and a half years now. And so we've reached about 15,000 kids so far and taught them four basic rules that would save their lives if they ever came across an unsecured firearm. And there's a lot going on regarding uh, firearms, schools, personal, every, lots of politics going on about this. Why do you think it's so important for kids to learn at a young age? Well, we, we teach our kids how to swim, right? Because we don't want them to drown. And so that's the same concept behind our program is we're giving these kids good information and we're also talking about you know video games, video game violence, the dangers there. We're talking about airsoft, Nerf guns. We're also talking about anti-bullying as well. So there's many different facets to our program that's designed to help protect our kids. What do kids say uh, when they get in there and you know they learn all the basics and they actually get in there? What are some of the reactions, things that they learn? What do they say? What I think it's very, very important is the way I relate with the kids is, is I'm just like a big kid myself, right? And so I have fun because I enjoy spreading the message of safety and I do that by, you know, interacting with them in a way that they, they feel comfortable. You know, just coming to an indoor range for the first time might be intimidating for the parents and for the kids. And so the goal is for us to, to be comfortable here and talk about safety, have a good open dialogue about firearms inside of our home and, and make sure that you know, we know what not to do if they ever come across one. Um, important thing to think about is maybe you might not have guns in your home, you might be afraid of guns, but your kids are still gonna be exposed somewhere else. And that's why we're advocating safety over, you know, we don't push guns. You know, I, I respect all parents, whether they like guns or don't like guns, but it doesn't mean that our kids can't come in contact somewhere else. You know, statistically, uh, firearms are more dang dangerous than pools in the state of Oregon. And so that's why we're opening up this dialogue. I, I wrote a Senate bill that would authorize education in the first grade. And so it was all about education. It wasn't in safety. It wasn't about you know pushing guns on kids. It was about giving them the tools that they need to be successful if they're putting out a dangerous position. Can you tell me about that? I did read about that. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about that Senate bill, how it's going so far? Oh, it's effectively, it's a DOA. Okay. You know, so basically, we're gonna come back next year. Uh, we learned a lot from this process and we made some key allies in the legislature. So, you know, I'm, I'm just gearing up for next year and we're gonna go back. For parents that come in, what are, is it all mixes of, I have guns in my home, I don't like guns in my home, I'm not really sure I wanna bring this, my child into this, what are the parents? So, typically about 42% of the kids that come to our home, our, our classes do not have any guns in their home. And so we're tracking statistics, we're, we actually have scientists and and child experts that we're working with and partner with. Um, so we're creating our own data. You know, that way our, our data is pure. You know, everything that we're, we're not getting lumped in with Chicago or, or Washington DC or Detroit or California, you know, cause high, high restriction rate leads to a higher mortality in kids. And so that's what we're trying to prove. And it just, and, and we're not trying to come at it from a political standpoint, we're coming at it from a safety standpoint. And so that's what's very, very important is we stay, you know, non-political, this is strictly safety. And then, um, tell me a little bit about what's being taught here today, just kind of a quick breakdown. Okay, so tonight we're gonna to be doing our kids' firearm safety hybrid class, which basically is uh, two classes lumped into one in one night. So basically we're gonna do our accident prevention, our anti-bullying, uh, we're gonna talk about our video games tonight, and then we're also gonna to transition to the range, which is, it's a fun night because we get to cover a lot of different topics, plus we get to reinforce good safe habits out there on the range. Uh, talk to me a little about the bullying aspect. Um, it, it's kind of some of the school shootings uh, that have happened, the shooter has mentioned that's been an issue in the past. Is this kind of something you guys are focusing on? Or is it more don't be a jerk kind of situation? It's kind, I mean, of, it's <laughs> kind of like that. It's basically, we're, we're, we're teaching de-escalation skills and we're getting them to use words as opposed to any resort to any kind of violence. And I'm also, we're teaching kids to be good stewards and basically look out for one another. They're, they have a friend that's being picked on. You know, we can, we can get the parents involved. We can get the, the principal, the school involved um, to, to help protect those kids. Um, what, has there any been backlash at all from other parents of people who have seen this program or has it mostly been, wow, great? No, I, I, I it's minor. It's minor because I, everybody sees our social media and sees that our heart's in the right place and we're actually trying to do something as opposed to 
you know, pointing fingers at one another. You know, this is, you know, it's, it's a really lonely position being here in the middle because I have one organization over here and another one over here. And, and that tends to, you know, people shut down and the, it doesn't do what it needs to do. And we're all about safety, you know, so. And then for parents or people who see this at some point in the near future or are going to see this, what do you have to say to them for who think this is, they're too young? Because it's about seven years old when they can start this class, correct? Uh, for tonight on the range, about seven years old. Mm -hmm. You know, for our, our normal accident prevention program, they're about four, four to five on up. You know, because we look in, those, that one's no firearms. Yeah. You know, this one is strictly, this is what you do if you come, you're put in that position. So we're to stop, don't touch, run away, tell the runner, okay? So we're not advocating kids pick those guns up, we're advocating those kids get out of the situation. And so that's that's the goal. And, and it's through proper education, that's how we're gonna make a difference to save lives. We lose eight to nine kids per, a day across the country. And so this is something that we're trying to do to pre, be proactive right now and start a dialogue. You know, obviously today, and, and we don't know where it's gonna go from here, but obviously we have to have this conversation. And restriction, regulation, you know, confiscation is gonna do nothing to protect our kids. And so that's what we're, we're showing this. And, and, and what we're doing is we're showcasing good kids. You know, there's good kids, good families that are here that are involved and they're responsible and they're safe. And, and these kids are, are, are gonna be, be the future. Perfect. Is there anything else you wanted to add that I didn't ask? Anything you think is important for the public to know? Well, I think it's I think it's important to keep an open mind when it comes to safety. Okay, so just because you don't have guns or you're afraid of guns, don't think for a second your kids can't be at a play date. Or you know, sometimes guns used in the commission of a crime is thrown out the window, um, and that's how kids are coming into contact. I've heard of horror stories about kids finding uh, guns in, in couch cushions at sleepovers. You know, and that's something you know, it's terrifying as a parent and so what I'm trying to do is make sure that you don't get complacent for a second you know and and kids are very inclusive especially at a young age so we're trying to give them the good tools that they need to be to be successful perfect is there anything else anything you have no you can find us on our social media uh, kids safe foundation on Facebook Instagram and Twitter perfect. and also on our website kids safe perfect yeah